This is Jerry Hunter, Van Ana Company, Alexandria, Minnesota, with the closing grain and livestock comments for July 23rd, 2021. Corn market down seven and a quarter on Friday. Beans down 15 and a quarter. Chicago wheat down eight and a quarter. Minneapolis down 20 and a half. Kansas City down seven and three quarters. On the week, corn market down eight and three quarters. Soybeans down 53 and three quarters. Chicago down eight and a half. Minneapolis down 33 and three quarters. Kansas City down eight and a half. What's the undertone? Well, a lot of back and forth this week. When you look to uh, the underlying tone, though, you got kind of a tug of war between kind of crumbling basis levels here for starters. You've got circumstances around this market where some areas have gotten rain and sitting on pretty good conditions. Others are a bit problematic. But one thing that did occur this week that I think we need to take special note of is across 17% of the major corn growing areas, rains of 15 to 45 inches occurred over in China. And that's something that could really take shape and something to monitor here as we work ahead. So in regards to market action, we're right at the VPOC, 542, 543 area. If we break below 510, that may open up price counts to 450. If we get above six, it opens up infinity and beyond. But for right now, we see sellers showing up it's seasonally a tough pattern to extend rallies, and it's going to take demand, yield decay, decay, and South American weather, or one of those three, to really get this market going again. So maybe the more bullish optimism can come here sometime after October, uh, or after September, I should say, end of September. The soybean complex, on the other hand, uh, just kind of stuck in a rut here as well. Uh, when you look to the yield circumstance that's around, that too is a big tug of war, but uh, demand yield in South American weather are going to be big variables down the road. We see a potentially uh, big market if those variables become bullish uh, just because of the potential and how tight we are. But as for now, just not enough to get going. Seasonally a downtrending environment, so the story continues on. So don't be surprised that a little price decay here if we would get down and going here. Uh, getting down into those mid to lower 12s is a possibility, but we do see recovery post-harvest. Uh, so you just gotta kind of wait out the risk reward of any of these decisions. Uh, Chicago wheat market and Minneapolis, Kansas City, all over the place, but obviously with the yield decrease and kind of the circumstances around, there are some stories here that are starting to gain some traction in wheat. Feeder cattle up 187 and a half on the day on Friday, live cattle up 70, hog market up 70 on the week, feeder cattle up one, or 445, excuse me, live cattle up 132 and a half, hogs up 170. Cash trade for cattle, 119 to 126 live, 195 to 200 dress. We're uh, current on weights. Slaughter is down tick to some degree this week, and we're going to need to keep an eye out here. Uh, that's why some of the bulls are coming to town. In regards to hogs, 112.21 index, so slowly climbing here, or trying at least. Exports, we're kind of in line with expectation, but need to see above average to get this hog market going again. This has been Jim Emter, Van Onen Company, Alexander, Minnesota. Trading futures and options involves risk of loss and is not suitable for all producers. Past performance is not indicative of future results. This is a solicitation. Have a great afternoon.